Good morning, praise the Lord. Today, 22nd November, we'll talk about a, a restful life. Yesterday, we spoke of, of uh, God's rest. Today, we'll continue understanding what is a restful life. Ruth 3.18, Naomi tells uh, her uh, daughter-in-law, Ruth, Wait, my daughter, until you find out what happens. The habit of waiting on the Lord is the key to a restful life. Not only to depend on His promises, but also to count on Him. A good man, one of those for whom some would even dare to die, is more than his words or assurances, because a case may arise not covered by either of them, and then we can fall back on what we know Him to be. Christ is more than his spoken and recorded words. Boaz in the story of Ruth is a picture of our kinsman redeemer Jesus Christ. Just as Boaz turned Ruth's bitterness into blessing, so also Christ does for his redeemed children. Is there any great perplexity in your life? Any great problem in your life? Is there a lurking evil in your life which you would have tried in vain to defeat? Is there some anxiety about one dearer to you than life who is drifting beyond your reach? Is there a yearning for all that can be realized of deliverance from sin, the filling of the Spirit, the life and love of God? Go to our great kinsman. Find him when you can speak to him without interruption. Tell him everything. Hand it all over to him. Then go home and sit still. That is what we have to do while praying. We have to pray with faith and wait on Him. If there is anything for you to do, He will tell you what it is and give you the grace, strength and courage to do it. But if not, sit still, wait patiently, quiet yourself. He cannot and will not forget. He will not procrastinate and He won't fail. He is allowing no grass to grow under His feet. He is making haste, though he appears as if he is delaying, and presently at the door there will be a shout of joy. Then the bridal bells shall ring out over an accomplished purpose, and your life shall be no more Mara but Naomi, and bitterness shall be swallowed up in blessing. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for teaching us how to lead a restful life. When we depend upon you completely, then we'll have rest in this life. Please help us to do the same. In Jesus' precious name I ask. Amen. God bless you.